Hey guys and welcome back to my little world um, at work. I've been working on some glow-in-the-dark So running these plastic machines There's things called purge and what this purge is is you have to heat the material up and get material But I've got these blobs of the world's most powerful glow-in-the-dark plastic And I rolled this one out with like a, a metal roll to try to get it flat The idea is that I'm gonna take different flashlights and stuff and just have fun with them see how bright we can get them Here's an ordinary uh, flashlight that I got at Walmart. LED though, really bright, really bright. Look at that. Extremely bright in here with the light right above it. And you can see it glowing. Let's take it outside real quick. You can see it's awesome glow power. This stuff's incredible because it will literally glow all night. Like 12 hours straight from like 9 to 9. It's it's very impressive. I've been working on this product for Roman and we're almost ready. We're getting close. We're getting real close. But it's a Smile More Ruler Stencil. So I thought, why not put it on this glow? I, gotta, I need to paint it. I need to spray paint it. Put the light on it and then it should glow Smile More. Let's do it. My spray paint. Let's, let's take this. Hello. Oh. Tape. Okay. There we go. That looks pretty good. I didn't realize how bright a blue it was. I'll let it dry into a second coat. Guys, I can't find mine, but I have one of them blue wicked lasers that Roman got me a long time ago, but I can't find it. The blue lasers have like this crazy immensely powerful UV spectrum in it, uh, which is what makes this stuff glow, like a black light. This really powerful green laser pointer, but it's not gonna do a thing, I'll show you. So, I mean, it's crazy bright, you can see the beam. Here, let's go outside real quick. Look at that. This is one of them ultra powerful ones that will burn your eyes out if, look at that, that is incredible. Yeah, this thing's a Beast, but watch, it won't do anything. Ready? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. It won't do anything. You can hold it, you can leave it there for hours and it won't do anything. And that's because there's no UV light in this. this with the blue one, you could write on it, you could design, you could do like artwork with it. Let's see how well this is glowing since it's sat. Look at that. I can't hit this with any more light, it's still growing amazing. Look at that. Oh, number two! I got a propane torch. Let's see what happens to this stuff when it gets hot. This one's the ugliest. I don't like it. It's already glowing like crazy. I never even charged it up. What? What? Let's see what happens. Oh, wow, look. It actually makes it glow big time. I don't know why, but the heat is activating this stuff like crazy. All right, so just the bare flame heats it up like crazy. Now I'm gonna get a screwdriver hot and run it through it. Okay, let's get this thing smoking hot. Okay, it's glowing red. Here we go. Oh, wow, look at that. Run it through it now. It's like when Predator gets cut. That is insane. Try to run it through it, straight. Heat it up more. Now that's really cool, guys, because there's no light that can get to those lower levels. This is this is not clear material. So it's amazing that just the heat alone is making that glow that well. Maybe one of you scientists out there can explain why just the heat activates whatever material makes that glow glow. Why does heat activate it when it hasn't been exposed to light? I don't know if that sounds right, but maybe somebody knows. Boom. Look at that. Let's underline it. is hot, right? No, it's not hot at all. It's just glowing. 
<laughs> oh, in the dark sheet Pictionary would be really cool that you do with small little pen flashlights. Uh, the problem with this stuff is it glows so long that you can't erase the board. It would just keep getting brighter and brighter. So you would actually need a far worse quality product, but you could do glow in the dark Pictionary and then your board erases after just a few seconds. That would be fun. Could be a new product. That could be uh, Dale's glow in the dark scribble tab. Dot com. Yep, check it out. Only $9.99. I know, it's a bargain. Hey right, guys, this is still wet, but I'm gonna try to do it anyway. Oh yeah, it looks good. Pretty transparent, I don't know. Set this on our glow-in-the-dark material and then shine light through it. Smile more. Glow-in-the-dark smile more stencil, take one. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna be cool. Ah! Boom! Boom! <laughs> Wait! Don't hit it. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and shine it right in there. No closer. Get it really close so the light don't spill over. Good job. All right, let me pick it up. Boom! That is so that cool. That is kind of gone. Well, yeah, it, it fades. It's glow in the dark. Here we go. Pumpkin. Number three. I can see it glowing already. That's awesome. Let me pick it up. Yeah, this surface is really rough, so it's kind of difficult to see. Awesome that you can actually transfer the glow in the dark. The, just the light through the stencil, though. That's wild. I'm, I'm working on this stencil. I was actually thinking about bringing you guys along for a How It's Made Smile More stencil ruler. What do you think? You guys want to see that? So if you guys want to see the How It's Made Smile More stencil ruler, tell me in the comments below. Let me know if you want to watch it. It's probably not the most exciting thing you've ever seen. I mean, it'd probably be like an episode of How It's Made. I love how it's made, but you know, not everyone does. Let me know in the comments and tell me if you guys want to see it. I'm gonna run out and pick up some pizza for dinner. Let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go. Yeah, you come. Come along. Come along with us. Sure. Yeah, come on in. First, my first triple fat jacket was a hair short on the sleeves. Uh, the, the chest fit perfect, but I got really long arms. Actually, fun fact. My arms are as long as an orangutan. My arms are longer than my body height, which is normally, it's like one to one. If you're five feet tall, you have a five feet arm span. I'm six feet tall and I have like a six four arm span, so I have like these weird long arms. But the arms were a little short, so they sent me a new jacket with longer arms, and it's a slightly longer model, and I gave the other one to Roman. So he's enjoying the triple fat goose too. Amps, where champions go to eat pizza, ain't that right? And we're champions of the... Look at the trophy! No, we're the ch champions of the shorts in November club. Look at you guys. Flip-flops, sandals, and shorts. <laughs> and winter fur coats. No, we're the champions of the universe. I don't dress them like that, guys. I don't dress them. They dress themselves. Mm -hmm. Dale, say something to the viewers. Rock. Really? Yeah. A commercial for champs. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Are you, gonna do that yummy? Are you gonna try a piece of deluxe? Yeah. You will? Mm. I figured you would. <laughs> no, no deal. No deal. Nope. Mine then. This one's mine. But I'm still taking a bite. Mm. Yeah. I really don't need that much, but look at these new straws. They're amazing. Here's a regular straw, and then here's the new straw. Cups are getting bigger. So, of course, the straws are getting bigger. Let's see how well they shoot. Combo straw, shoot test, take one. Whoa! They work. Definitely could have taken out a nine. You do not want clocked in the face by one of these bad boys. Here, Conan, you can have, my, you can have one of my mushrooms. <gasps> Let me try one of your barbecue. Let me try one of your barbecue things. I'm in there. I'm in there. Dad. 
And they got ice cream. This place is amazing. What flavor is that? Cherry. Cherry? It looks amazing. It almost looks like it's got cherry, cookie in it. Cherry cordial. Chocolate cherry. Conrad, what'd you get? Superman. Superman. Alright, we are fed and full. Okay guys, we're gonna go to the post office and see if we have any fan mail. You guys ready for this? Yes. They, they sound real ready for this. I said, are you ready for this? Yeah! I went to a concert recently and that's what they did. They asked the same question twice, no matter how loud you scream, so it works. This works. Do you think there's anything in there? Yes. Do you think anyone wants to send us stuff? Yes. All right, let's see. Please. Oh! oh. <laughs> First fan mail ever. So we're gonna see what we got. Hopefully I'm assuming stuff for the hole. Let's see. This letter is from Cameron W. from West Virginia. It says, I've been watching your videos for a while now and I love them. I wake up every day waiting for one of your videos to come out. I know it's a short letter, but I didn't feel like typing a whole bunch, lots of laughs. Tell Conrad and Dale I said, hey, keep up the good work. Put this letter in the waterproof, weatherproof box you're gonna bury if you want. Okay, it's going in the box. Actual card that says, Dear Dale, you are the best YouTuber ever. Thank you, by Lauren Crowley. Thank you, Lauren. Someone sent me this knife, which looks amazing. And it has a me it has a message inside. It says, Damien bought me a knife to put in the time capsule. Thanks, Damien. Seems pretty nice to shove in a box, but Oh, wow. It's going in. I like the color on it. Oh, Bottle nice. opener. Nice. Oh, look, that's my character from Smile Inc. Ah! This one's cool. I'm Owen and I enjoy your channel. It is super cool. In case you don't know, this is my character in my brother's Smile Inc. Uh, app. And it looks exactly like that. Owen, I think maybe you should go design apps. Oh, someone sent a nickel and a penny to put in the box. Cool, there's some stuff for the time capsule, which is awesome. That'll go in this weekend, and uh, yeah, that's awesome. Finally, got a new charger for your camera. Yes. The official charger for this camera was discontinued, and the only ones available uh, were $100 each, but this one, it's, gen it's knockoff brand. It's not name brand, but at least they're making them, was like $12, so amazing. It works. Oh, Dale, you're back in action. I am? Yeah. I am? So I got two GoPro batteries, this? a dual charger, a wall charger with two USB ports, mm -hmm. and the USB cable, and the car outlet adapter thing. 30 bucks. Ah! So you grab the game. Who normally wins at this game? Conrad. <laughs> Conrad is, without a doubt, the I'm the champion! He is the champion at this board game. You ready? Boom! It's a total game of luck and chance. You're spinning a number around a wheel and yet he wins nearly every time. How do you do it? Um, I just, um... How do you do it? Sometimes I blow on the spinner. Oh, like he gives the lucky blow. The I wheel do of doom, Dale. Are you gonna be able to handle this? No. I can do it because I... <laughs> Let's get this game started right. I'm... The youngest, you go first. <laughs> Lucky streak, he's already getting shortcuts. First roll of the game. Um... Alright, so if you get a 1, you go up this super ladder all the way to 38. Here we go, lucky number 1, lucky number 1. Oh! Here we go, boom! Shortcut of the century. That has never happened. One, two, three, four, five, six. No! Ah! Uh -huh. Poor daddy. Oh! No. One, two, three, four, five. I'm like back at the beginning. Oh! No. One, two, three, four, five. I'm like back at the beginning. <laughs> I don't need your pity. You just got the super one. Where do you? Oh dang! There's almost no way you can lose now. So after your super roll, you just got a three. Go ahead. One, two, three. 
Oh! <laughs> He's the riches, or riches the rags, huh? <laughs> boom, boom, boom! Back on top, Daily. <laughs> I'm still all the way at the beginning. Life's unfair, guys. <laughs> no, it's a four. It's a lucky one. Five. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. Yes! Light of terror. I don't care, I'm still up high. Yeah, but look at this. If you get a one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you still have a chance at the winning ladder. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Oh man, you just missed those slides. I don't have a hope in winning this one. one two, three, four. That's a good one. It lines you up. So if you get a three, you win the game, Dale. Oh! You get Dale. <laughs> I'm out. No, you're not. You can't be out. I am out. Show, show the viewers what you got. Come on. Roll. A one. A one. So where does that put you? No. Where does it put I'm you? Not Boom! <laughs> That's the longest slide in the game. And down went the giant. All right, it's my turn. I'm still in this game. Gotta win the game. This is how it starts. It's like everyone's happy, and then Conrad somehow sneaks up, and now he's at the top. And we're all down at the bottom. If he rolls a two on his next hand, he wins the game. It's all on you. If you get a two, you win the game. It's all on you. If you get a two, you win the game. Two! Oh, it's two. Go ahead. One, two. Boom! <laughs> Victorious! Time to take the win. Every single time, there's nothing we can do about it. Why? How does a game of chance and luck always land on one person. And it always is me! <laughs> <laughs> He's doing his victory dance right now. Right, well, in my house growing up, the losers clean up, so... Dale, we gotta clean up. I don't have to clean up. Nope. I can't. It's because you're a winner. You get to do what you want. If I wanted a couple sissies, I would call them Dr. Quinn and Medicine Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Talladega nice, Nights, in case you didn't know. Well... Another game lost. Okay, as usual guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. I'll see you next time.